And let's put our hands together for our bishop, uh, Reverend Theron Blake, at this time. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Minister Edwards. Come on, give the Lord a praise. That sound like it was from me. I don't like this mic. That sound like it was from me. Give the Lord a praise. I didn't say give Obama a praise. That sound better. I said give the Lord a praise. Shout like you want the devil on hell to know you come to have church. I wonder if anybody over here came here today. You're disgusted of the devil. And you come to bless God. I wonder if there's anybody over here. What about you? Lift your voice and give God some praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do it one more time. Hallelujah. Slap somebody high five and to be blessed in the house of the Lord. God bless you. Welcome one. Welcome all to the mountain. Amen. There's no better place to be than in Mount Zion. On a day like today, we come to mash down some things. I don't know why you come to church, but I, came, I come to church to be blessed. And after 42, going 43 years, I'm still hungry. I still need some more blessing. Higher heights and deeper depths. Give God some praise. Sister Passard, to all, amen, son, everybody here in the house of the Lord, welcome. Amen. We talk about, amen, our brother, amen, is we believe in God that very soon he'll be home with his wife and family. Amen. And brother Marcelo, it's just a blessing in the ministry here. Such a motivator, him and his wife and family. We thank God for them, for our friends, our brothers and sisters from Jersey and amen New York City and Springfield children I miss you I didn't get to say happy Mother's Day to you amen but Papa still love you amen glory to God and to all the mothers who wasn't here last week happy Mother's Day to you belated Mother's Day to you amen glory to God and I pray that you'll be blessed today and I believe you're going to be blessed I believe that, amen, there are those who came here today for a miracle. Look upon that wall up there. Amen. If you go on the YouTube, you will see a man there that testified a few weeks ago. That Sister Jennifer invited here with stage four cancer. Go home and die. But she brought him here. Today he's as healthy as an ox. Amen, somebody. Who have the last report? Whose report? Are you going to believe? Amen, glory. You're going to rep re believe the report of the Lord. Miracles are for today. Before the church was established, miracles were taking place. And Elijah stretched upon the child seven times. And the boy sneezed. Come on here, people. When the woman a meal she didn't really give God thanks the way she should she never recognized the man of God really but you see when the child died huh she said me no want you we want the man of God hello and he went up and he take the child and he stretched upon the child and the child sneezed come back to life it's a dead child then mama he brought the child he heard a little tooth four two pair of foot our feet you call it walking down coming towards mama a little light foot and a heavy one now that you won't find that in the bible i'm just telling you amen mama was bawling a few minutes ago out of amen herself Amen. But then the man of God brought the child to him, to her. And she said, by this, the key, the way I'm getting hot, by this, I know that there are a man of God. 
Hello? Glory to God. So miracles will never cease. If I'm going to a church where there's no signs, wonders, and miracles, I run. Because anywhere God showed up, anywhere the Holy Ghost showed up. Oh God, deliverance must come. What Jesus said, if thou canst believe, it will be done. Somebody give him praise. And nobody can tell me that foolishness. Amen. Because we have seen it for many years. If, if all you stand up in here to testify, don't make me you have anything. Sister in the blue hat. You say you look pretty. Amen. Don't make me and you have nothing. Not only me and you, but don't make God dry you up. And Lord, I'm going to say it clearly. Amen. God wants you. You're not spending enough time in his presence. Run. Amen. You see, my sister came upstairs one day, just barely walk upstairs. I have to leave work, go to doctor. Doctor can't help. Amen. But you know something? She came in that room and I slapped the leg one or two times. Huh? And every pain gone. She could barely come up the staircase, but she ran down the staircase. That's the God I saw. A lady came to see me, and I must say this might sound graphic, but you need to hear. She said, they set evil on me. That the dog, it came in the form of a dog, sucking my breast and having sex with me. I want you to know what world you're living in. Because some of you are playing games. And, oh, what do you talk about is witchcraft? Read the Bible. Me, God called for mash up witchcraft. I'm going to tell anybody you're doing it. I preach a message. I said, God, anybody working witchcraft to hurt their neighbor. Paralyze the hand. The woman listened to the message. The hand paralyzed. Paralyzed instantly. Hello. We want people to know. You don't waste your money. I hope your man. Bring it to church. Don't waste anything you want. Anything you need. God got it on the best. Hello. Before you make any doctor cut you, you find a man of God today. Because Satan can farm himself into anything. All right, that's enough. How many listened to the broadcast yesterday? How many? Did you hear the prophecy that in the last part of the message of the service, a prophetic word came that actually blew me up in the studio. All I could do is cry. Because Amen. The doubters, amen, and the unbelievers' mind are going to be blown. And it won't be long from now. And Papa sent a message. He said, Calvary, you don't know who you have. You know, cherish that man and take care of him. Because that silent river about to burst open. Amen. It's a great thing is coming to this church. Amen. And nobody can stop it. And his word continues. He said, I call upon the ministers in America to come to the ten crusade. Amen. That this man of God is having. Because many of you are not saved from your waist down. And he make it known. But this is a man of God from the corner of his head to the pinky. To his little pinky toes. And you hear what I'm saying? You know it. You have seen it. You have felt it. Amen, somebody has seen the great work of God. Now don't make somebody else come and appreciate your pastor. And you don't. People are coming from all walks of life, whether you like it or not. One of Jamaica's fastest runner. They lick away witchcraft in Jamaica. Oh, that church and talk about witchcraft. Everybody have an assignment. Me have one. My assignment is to mash up them wicked people. Hello? She's running and because she's good, then lick her. That when it's time to practice, she can't hardly move in a pain. And if you can't practice, you can't go to the relay. You can't go to do the run for Jamaica. I said to this, our sister, bring her here. Hello. And she just finished. She don't miss no more meat since then. And no more 
track and field. I mean, getting ready for the Olympics. She don't miss none yet. Stand up, let them see you. Stand up. Hello. Now, take, now watch your size. And I told her I want her feet to be like Ein's feet. That nobody can catch up with her. No second, me no second visit. No one goal. Hello. All right. So God delivered her. What do I give them? Nothing. And I can tell you a story all day. However, I want to receive an offering for a preacher. Amen. Pastor Weatherburn. We'll tell you more about himself when he comes. Amen. And I need you to go into your pocket and do the best you can. We cannot pay a man of God for the word. Amen. It's priceless what we can give them. The Bible says they give us the spiritual and give them the temporal. You can give a $40, a 30 a 50 a 100 come. come to give. Um, amen. We got, in a few seconds, we're going around the world. But while you're coming, come, 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 come. While you're coming, I have, a, a, my wife found a beautiful married ring. I don't know if it's hot. I don't think this is any foolish. It's somebody married me. Hello. I don't know why it left here. I don't know who it belonged to. But if, if it belonged to you, come get it. Amen. Come, give it 20. Give 100. Give 50. Have a blessing. While you come, that we can be a vessel or an instrument that God can use to touch millions and billions around the world Amen. i want everybody when the, we get going and the preaching get going to go on your phone and text a friend tell them to tune in and listen to the live streaming today can you do that for me young people huh yes put it on the live stream and send it to a friend amen somebody can you do that for me but don't stay on it all day just call them and tell them. All right, somebody? I want you to listen every Saturday, 11 to 2 p.m. Amen. And receive, those of you watching, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Gospelreggaeam.com Or call 712-432-8889. Amen. You'll hear the broadcast. Amen. Through your phone. But our job is to reach you with the gospel. The good news of salvation that bring changes in your life. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. After today, if you open up your heart for what God is bringing into your home, into your family. And I command that devil, that dragon, that demon from hell to lose his hold off your life. I break the powers of darkness that come into you and your family. And I pray that this will be your day. Hallelujah for your miracle. Listen to the song. The next voice you'll hear is that of God's servant for the day. Will he come to minister the word of God and tell you a little more of himself? But I feel led, just go natural. You may be seated to sing the song. Then Jesus stepped down. Mm. I hear the sound. The mighty rushing away. Saints, it's closer now than it ever be. I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sound the call. Brought the midnight crown We'll be going home I look around me I see prophecy fulfilling Everywhere Trust me saints The signs of the time I said the signs of the time They're appearing everywhere And I can almost hear the Father When he said, Son, go 
the other, my children, yeah, of a midnight cry. I said, of a midnight cry. There's gonna be, there's gonna be, it's of a midnight cry. The pride of Christ. I said, the bride of Christ. No, I'm not talking about the hypocrites or the church pretenders. I said, the bride of Christ shall arise. For when my Jesus stepped up, oh, yes, and I clung to call his children, call his children, dead in Christ arise. Moment of a midnight cry. Oh, 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 oh. Of a midnight cry. We'll be going home. Going home. Going home. the Lord a praise rise to your feet as we will come today God's servant for the hour past to with about come on put your hands together and receive this man of God God bless you hallelujah oh Jesus Jesus yeah oh Jesus oh Jesus come on put your hands together for the Lord lift your hands every way and just begin to magnify the Lord just give the Lord a wave offering if you know he has been good to you hallelujah we bless your name Lord we praise you we honor you we glorify you because you are excellent and beside you there is no other we praise your name we glorify you we magnify your name because we consider that there is none like you in spite of what we're going through we will say like the psalmist i will bless the lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth my my soul shall make her Post in the Lord and uh, uh, the humble shall hear thereof and uh, be glad. Uh, oh, magnify. I wish I had somebody who would just magnify the Lord with me and let us praise his name together. Come on and uh, worship him right where you are and uh, begin to lift him up and begin to honor him because uh, if you know he has been good to you, oh, yes, Lord, we praise you, we worship you, we honor your name. Yay! We thank you for all that you have done. And Lord God, we just want to thank you for this wonderful gathering. And we thank you for your presence. And we just thank you for your goodness. Somebody's put your hands together for him one more time. Bless the Lord. Before you take your seat, just turn to the person that is next to you and just give them a big smile. Give them the biggest smile you can muster. Amen. Praise be to God. Turn to the person on the other side and give them the same smile before you take your seat. Blessed be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. God indeed is a good God. Amen. And regardless what we are going through and what we face in life and the obstacles that are ahead of us he's a good god it doesn't change the fact that he stills god amen 
and I'm honored to be here. I, my first time in Connecticut, and it is a beautiful state. Amen. I love it here. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. And so I thank God, and I thank God for the wonderful saints of Calvary New Testament. Please put your hands together for yourselves. visiting friends and all the ministers and of course I got to give amen my love and my respect to this wonderful man of God amen please put your hands together for Bishop F. Blake please bless God amen and of course a man right beside him not behind him but right beside him amen amen and she's not just a first lady, but she's his only lady. Amen. Lady Blake, put your hands together for her as well. Bless God. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, first and only. And we thank God. Amen for the musicians. We thank God for everyone. My brother. Amen. Brother Derek, please put your hands together for him. Faithful brother. Amen. How many persons came here today to receive a word? Amen. Do you really want a word today? Bless God. I, I believe a word is in the house and our hearts will most definitely be blessed. Amen. Praise be to God. Now turn to somebody and look at them and tell them I'm not insignificant. Yeah, man. No, no. You, you, you got to say it with conviction. Say, I'm not insignificant. Yeah, you got to gotta say it with an attitude. I'm not insignificant amen i am um, i'm purposed to be here amen and 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 how do i know that i'm purposed to be here the very fact that i'm alive is a testament that i'm a winner amen do you believe that yeah because how many years ago that was i do not know you were swimming as a cell in your father's testicles Amen. And daddy decided to release you and millions of other potential to see who will get to mommy's egg first. Guess who won? Amen. The very fact that you're here, it meant that you got there first. Come on, somebody here. So you were already a winner before you got here. Amen, somebody? Amen. So every person that thinks that you are insignificant and even the devil tells you that you're insignificant, you let the devil know he's a liar. He is a liar. And every person that look at you funny and look at you strange, you are going to shame them. Amen? So I'm just taking my time. I'm going to get there today. Praise be to God. Amen. Uh, what came to my mind is David. The Bible says when Samuel was instructed by the Lord to go down and anoint David, one of David's son. The scripture tells us that Jesse brought seven of eight sons. Amen. The eight son David was never considered kingly material. Come on church. And when Samuel saw the first son and how he looked like what a king supposed to look like and he resembled Saul, he assumed that this was the one. God said, oh no, this is not the one. See, man looking at the outward appearance, but God is looking at the heart. And so the second son came and the second son Past and the third, and God says, not, 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 not that one, and the fourth, not that one, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh, not that one. And Samuel said, but God sent me here to anoint a king, so there has to be another one. And so he asked Jesse, is there yet another son? And Jesse, I believe, said, yeah, prophet, yes, there is one, but, 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 I, I, I don't think he's kingly material. I, I, I don't think he fit the bill I, I, I don't think he, he's too he's too short and he's too ruddy uh, to be king but 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 Samuel said uh, just go for him uh, but 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 here's the thing that blessed me the part that blessed me is that Samuel said we shall not
not be seated until he comes. So when David came, David walked into a standing ovation. Can I tell you something? Every person that thought that you were insignificant and inferior, when God get ready with you, they are going to give you a standing ovation. Come on, somebody here. Uh, every individual that thought uh, that you will never make it. Uh, they thought that you were never kingly material. Uh, look at me now. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, look at me now. You thought I wouldn't be here, but look at me now. <laughs> Come on. Amen. You have made it. Amen, church. I just want to bless your hearts today. Amen. And I pray that you will be blessed today. Blessed be the God. Very quick, let's turn our Bibles. And I have this couple of passages to read. And then we're going to put it all together. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. And while you're finding it, let me read. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it tarry what? Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Romans 10 verse 17. Romans 10 verse 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on somebody. Romans 4 verse 18. Uh, bless the Lord. Are you there yet? Romans 4 verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be. And finally Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. Philippians chapter 3 14 and 15. Rather, 13 and 14. Are you there yet? Somebody praise him. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press. Towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your blessings. And we thank you for the anointing. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, for what you will do in our midst today. And the word will be relevant. And the word will speak to our hearts and bring transformation and bring healing and bring deliverance uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you for all that you have done. Hallelujah. And we worship your name. Somebody say amen. I want to use for a title today, Walking in God's Promises. Amen, somebody? Uh -huh. Walking in God's God's promises. Blessed be to God. Now, 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 when we got saved, uh, we got saved by faith believing on the word of God. We are here today because we believe everything that is proclaimed in his word. We understand that God cannot lie. It's not that uh, he can and he choose not to. He just cannot lie because whatever he says, it is so. Amen, somebody. So we can be assured 
of the promises of God. And the assurance is the word of God. So we take this journey of faith by faith because we are assured of the promises of God. Amen, church. Uh huh. Uh, faith is like uh, is like a skydiver jumping out of a plane without a parachute. Uh, amen. We need that parachute to assure us uh, that we will land safe. Amen, church. Uh, so even though we believe the promises, we need to understand uh, that the promises uh, are for a set. Time. And I want to use uh, four pointers today and bless your hearts. Uh, amen. Number one, I want us to understand that, that the promise is sure. Turn to your neighbor and say, the promise is sure. Uh -huh. The promise is sure. That's why Habakkuk 2 verse 3 tells us for the vision or the promise is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall not lie. Amen. Though it Harry, we got to wait for it. Now, what that means, brothers and sisters, is that the promise has a allocated time in order for it to be fulfilled. Amen, church of God. There is a time. There is a time. There is a time. Therefore, while there is a time, I ought to wait until the fullness of the time comes come praise be to god that's why uh, it is said they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they that wait upon the lord shall they that wait upon the lord shall please note here that the shall is embedded on the wait amen you cannot shout if you do not know how to wait in order to shall you got to learn to wait because a whole lot of people want the shall but they don't want to learn to wait because what the wait is it processes you and what the wait does it builds you and what the wait does it molds you into character come on church of God amen because anything that is done before the time is premature come on church of God and that's the problem today a whole lot of people don't want to wait on the process and so they're sickling for premature blessing but touch your neighbor say neighbor I don't need a premature blessing I will wait on the fullness of time amen church because the promise is for a time though it tarry I'm going to wait on it because we need to understand brothers and sisters uh, amen that God uh, is not working uh, with our schedule uh, but we are the one uh, who is working uh, with God's schedule uh, so quit trying to tell God to hurry and just wait uh, until the time comes uh, come on church of God uh, amen uh, you see the devil wants you to believe uh, because you don't see him yet uh, amen it's not coming to pass but the devil is a liar because a pregnant woman has to wait until nine months her appointed time to give birth and right now in the prophetic realm some of you are just in your sixth month come on church you are entering your third trimester but I'm here to tell you just hang on in there because your breakthrough ah, Lord God Almighty is just around the corner that will have anybody here who believes that today she we gotta wait we gotta wait we gotta wait she gotta wait on her appointed time but also watch this because the scripture now tells us by the prophet that as soon as Zion travail she bring forth her children notice when Zion brought forth as soon as she travail amen it is in your travailing that you are bringing forth the Prevailing is not a sign that you have been forsaken. 
the travailing is a sign that you are about to give birth now all you need to do is quit complaining and just put them legs up in the stirrup and push for your breakthrough come on church of God because it is in the midst of the fire it is in the midst of the hardship it is in the midst of my turmoil for as gold is passed through the furnace of fire it becomes purified because watch this because because what the fire does is not to kill us but it's to build us all right all right i'm gonna work my way up i'm gonna work my way up now 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 we understand that there is a particular trend of doctrine of gospel going around called the prosperity gospel now watch me now now I, while i ain't got no problem with prosperity you can't teach prosperity without suffering come on somebody Come on. Now you got to balance the thing. Huh? Amen. Because uh, when I check the scriptures through and through, uh, every individual, every character that prosper had to go through a process, uh, had to go through a fire. Come on, church of God. Uh, amen. Amen. Uh, so we got to prepare ourselves uh, to go through the fire. Peter, amen, says uh, in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1, for as much as Christ uh, had suffered suffered for us in the flesh arm ourselves likewise with the same mind for he who had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin in other words we gotta prepare our minds to go through the fire okay okay watch me now watch me now he didn't say get around it he didn't say get over it he didn't say get under it he said that you got to go through it touch your neighbor say neighbor you gotta go through it amen you got to go through it because uh, anybody I know uh, that have been through the fire never come out the same. There has to be a change. If you don't believe me, check Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They went into the fire as ordinary men. But when they came out of fire, they came out as super ordinary men. Come on, church of God. Amen. The devil, if he only knew that when he put you in the fire, he's only been in your character if the devil only knew that when he put you in the fire he's only building your fate come on church of God and here it is that you are crying Lord I can't take the fire but the apostle said take the fire because the fire will build you it will make you become purified uh, uh, because in first Peter First Peter 1 verse 7, he speaks about the goal that is passed through the furnace, becomes purified. His emphasis is not or was not on the fire. His emphasis was on the gold because the fire remained constant but the gold changes because at one point it was raw material and the next moment it became precious but notice when it moved from raw to precious after it had gone through the fire he says the fire is trial and trial is always constant in a believer's life amen church the goal is the saint and so we got to prepare ourselves so here it is now that some folk are going through the fire and they will begin to wonder God is the promise still sure because now we begin to question see see has God ever given you a word and the word that he gives you your experience and the word doesn't add up Come on, somebody here. 
And so you're saying, God, I don't understand. You said this, but this is what's happening. You said I'm the head, but sometimes I feel like the tail. You said I'm more than a conqueror, but I feel like I'm beaten, bruised, and I'm dying. You said I'm royalty, I'm peculiar, I'm special, but there are times I don't feel so special. I don't feel so royal. Amen. My, my expectation and my experience or my environment is not adding up. What do I do? You still trust on God. Amen. Because God promises are sure. Sure enough, he's going to keep his promises. Come on, somebody here. Come on, church of God. It comes with toiling. It comes with pain. It comes with agony. Amen. But it is for a good reason. Uh, Paul says, be not weary in well-doing, for you shall reap in due season if you faint not. He uses the agricultural term of a planter that goes to plant a seed. But when he buries that seed and walks away, the following morning he doesn't come expecting to see plant come on church but he knows that between the sowing amen and the reaping there's a process called toiling and toiling is not easy because you gotta be pruning weeding gathering scattering fencing and the sun is beaten down in his back and though he's weary and though he's tired in his mind he says it's all for good because come harvest come the next six months I'm going to reap from all this toiling likewise the same thing is to be said about the Christian journey even though I feel like I can't make it even though I don't want to go on further even though some folk rub me the wrong way even though I come to church and thought that I had brothers and sisters but I found out that they're nothing but hypocrites and backbiters ah, Lord of mercy Lord. and there are days I just don't want to see nobody and there are days I just want to tell them go to hell and there are days I want to give them a piece of my mind but Lord even though I'm struggling I'm still holding on because I believe you will come true somebody shout glory oh Lord Jesus let's work this let's work this let's work this so the weight does not negate the surety of the promise it will come to pass uh -huh. so the weight the weight has to be the process a man somebody so 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 i trust god when he first gave the promise amen amen say okay let me let me uh, all sort of stuff going in my mind but as it come let me deal with it paul says to timothy second timothy 4 verse 8 he says that there is laid up. The NIV says that there is stored a crown of righteousness. Amen. The word stored there, uh, it means to be laid up, laid away, or to be on hold. In other words, it is at a safe place. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, my blessing ain't going nowhere because it is at a safe place. 
It's at a holding place. It's on layaway. Come on, church of God. It ain't going nowhere. Amen, church. But watch this now. Amen. If what is rightfully mined is in holding then why is it the devil is trying so hard to stop me from getting what which is in holding that's because the devil knows the value of what is in holding come on church amen church but if the devil amen can't stop what is in the safe then why is he trying because the devil knows amen that he can't stop the blessing from you but he can stop you from the blessing come on church and that's why he puts obstacles and setbacks in your way to prevent you from getting what is yours but I'm here to tell you in spite of our Lord Jesus I don't know how many person here remember the days in primary school when we used to play a game where we all gathered together and say anybody in the wheel bunks them down come on somebody here if the devil is in the way bunks him down let the devil know I even though I can't see my victory I ain't gonna to give up come on church amen church can I tell you something you are warriors come on church don't you know the power and the authority that you possess you can look at that devil and say devil in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth back up in the name under the power of the Holy Ghost the church needs to exercise the authority and the power Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I got power. I got power to let the devil know whose I am. Come on, church. You gotta exercise the power. Sometimes you got to look at the devil, Bishop, and say, if you think you're bad. Touch a button. Because you know in whose authority you're walking. Some like a puny, puny Christian. Um, Mr. Devil, please. Oh no. Understand the power that we carry. Understand the authority that we carry. Amen. See, we, see, see, the Bible says, this, 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 this marvels me. The Bible says, when Jesus taught, his haters and the people, they marveled at the authority at which he speaks. Amen, church of God. Because he knew who is in control. Now, if I'm here and joined here, Come on, somebody here. And I'm daddy's uh, child. So, so, you can't allow the setback to get you to deviate from the promise. In fact, let me illustrate, let me help you. Christianity is like a journey. And on this journey, if you have not met the devil face to face, it means that you and that bugger is going in the same direction. Come on. But the very fact that you see him face to face, it means that I'm going that way and he's going that way. We are opposite. We are not going in the same direction. And if we are opposite, then he is an opponent. Come on, somebody. And if he's an opponent, he is an opposition. Come on, church of God. Amen, church of God. And that's why he comes after you. But don't you know? Amen 
reason that the devil coming after you is a testament of your righteousness with God. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Oh Lord, I feel like. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Job. In one aspect was held by God. He's righteous. He has cured evil. He's upright. God was proud. Satan didn't even came to ask God about Job. Job God was the one who said, have you considered Now, he knew why Satan showed up. Come on, somebody here. He showed up to accuse Job. Because the word Satan there means accuser. So he came to accuse Job. But before he could accuse Job, God said, wait a minute. Before you say one bad, evil, accusative word against him, let me tell you, what I know about him. Isn't it a good feeling when God <laughs> can, can say, hey, uh, 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 I know who that is. Uh, amen. Uh, and so the Bible says, watch this, uh, that if Job was so right, uh, if Job was so upright, uh, then why would God allow the devil to go after Job? Uh, amen. And I thought, in my early Christianity amen that my righteousness was enough to keep me from trouble that my righteousness was enough to keep me from struggle but I later realized that on the contrary it is because I am righteous why I struggle it is because I am righteous why the devil brings trouble come on church of God. Amen. Because as much as Satan hates God, he can't touch God. Come on, somebody. So he goes after the next thing that reminds him of God. He goes after the next thing that looks like God. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. In case you're trying to figure out who that is, tell that neighbor, neighbor, that is me. Every time the devil sees me, he sees God inside of me. Come on, church. And because he can't touch the infinite God, he comes after the finite me. But little did the devil know that the finite me wrapped up in an infinite God is a supernatural me. Come on, church of God. Amen. Hell, oh, Lord Jesus. Do I have anybody here ha, 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 who just let the devil know I'm sick and tired of this? Ah, not another night. I ain't gonna struggle again with this. Ah, Lord. Ah, is there anybody here who will say I'm going to fight my way out in spite of my setback? I still believe on the promises oh. oh lord let me rush on let me rush on let me rush on so the promises are sure the promise is sure let me move on the promises are sure the promise is sure number two number two number two uh, the promise yeah, inspires expectation Romans 10 verse 17 says, So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, I want you to, to catch this, catch this, catch this this morning. Uh, uh, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, the believer's faith is rooted in the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So the believer's faith is rooted in the word of God. Now, since faith is rooted in the word of God and the word of 
God is God. Are you there? Are you, are you here with me now? Are you here with me now? <laughs> so, 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 since it is so, we cannot deny, and here's a new word I'm giving you. We cannot deny the isness of God's word. Amen, somebody. Amen. We can't deny the isness of God's word. Amen. It's not a word. You don't know. Amen. But I'm giving it out there. You can't deny the isness of God's word because whatever God says, it is. Amen. Therefore, therefore, our faith is. Turn to your neighbor and say, my faith is. My faith is. My faith, my faith is. Because that's exactly what the writer of Hebrew in chapter 11 states. He says, now faith is, now faith is, now faith, faith, faith is, faith is, faith is. Now, 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 now watch this now. Huh? Because some people say faith is now. Huh? Amen. And I understand exactly what they are saying. Huh? Amen. But, 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 but the premise of chapter 11 verse 1. Huh? Amen. The now has nothing huh, to do with the faith. Huh? Amen. The now is just a transition word. Huh? Because whatever he was saying huh, in chapter 10. Huh? In chapter 10, he I identified, amen, the who's of faith. Come on, church of God. And so now he's concluding, amen, in chapter 11. So having spoke about the who's of faith, he's now going into the what of faith. And so he says, now faith is. So what faith, 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 faith is. Say with me, faith is. Faith is. Don't worry, I'm explaining. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. Amen. Now, now I'd rather to say faith is as opposed to faith is now because if faith is now then it means that yesterday faith wasn't and tomorrow faith won't because faith is now amen church but when I look at is then now it transcends time because is as an entity cannot change the tenses of ease can change but not the entity okay let me explain to you yesterday is was today is is and tomorrow is will but whether is was is 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 will is always remain as is come on somebody here amen because it still is what it was and it is what it is and it is what it will come on touch a god so if god gives you a word yesterday it still is come on somebody here amen and he gives you a word for the future when you get there it will be as is. Come on, touch a God. Amen. That's why my expectation is built on the word of God. Because when he gives me a word, I know it is. Come on, somebody. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Our Lord Jesus, can I help your mind just a bit further by telling Telling you that faith is not just an act, but faith is an actuality. Come on, church. Faith is not just an act, but it is an actuality. In other words, it is not my action of faith that gets the result done, but it is the other way around. It is the actual result already done that inspires my faith in action so in other words I'm not going there hoping that something is there but I'm going there knowing quite well that it is already there come on church turn to your neighbor say neighbor it is already there I don't have to see it to believe it I don't gotta hear it to believe it but I know it is there. I know it is there. And according to the promises of God, I will walk by faith and not by sight. Somebody lift your hands and shout, Oh Lord Jesus, I'm going after it. I'm going after it. I'm going after it. Pull on two person and said I'm going after it. Come hell or high water. I'm going after it. I'm going. I'm going after it.
after it because I know that when I get there it will not maybe not suppose but I know it will because it is Shakoto Robosha Masita Taraba Karimo Shakaya Nerebosha Oh Lord It is It is there See Watch this Now Now When we Come to the revelation that it is there it shifts our mindset and ultimately it shifts our behavior come on somebody here come on church okay let me let me cement that am i boring you all right okay let me cement it let me cement it the Bible says that whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Now, now, this is how some people exercise their faith. I am going to bind that it may be bound. I'm going to loose that it may be loosed. So, when I bind, when I loose, Heaven follows suit. Oh no. No. That's not the context. The context is in the reverse. In the original text. Amen. It reads, whatsoever we bind on earth is already bound. Whatsoever we loose is already loose. So in other words, the reason why I can bind is because it is already bound. The reason why I can loose is because it is already loose. I'm not going there asking if it can be done. I'm going there knowing that it is already done. So in other words, I'm pulling what is in the supernatural into the temporal. Come on church of God. Amen. I don't know what it is in your life that is bugging you but pull on the supernatural. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it on yourself. Let the devil know. Let he know that I am not bound. Let the devil know that your families are not in bondage. Let the devil know that you are power pack. Let the devil know that you are anointed. Let the devil know that you believe on the isness of the promise. Ah. Oh. I want to. I want to. I want to wrap this thing up. Oh. Oh Lord. All right. Watch this. Number two. Number two. I said number three. I got four. Number three. Number three. Number three. I don't think I can go further. Number three, and that's it. I mean, I can't. Honestly, I can't. Number three. Number three. Number three. Watch this. The promise is without conflict. Visions, get ready. The promise is without conflict. So, so yes, God gives you a promise, but expects conflict. See, because having an expectation doesn't mean that you won't face conflict. Romans 4 verse 18 tells us against all hope, Abraham. Now the very fact you hear the word against, it denotes conflict. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. Okay, let's stop right there. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. Now, 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 now. As I look at that, it identifies two hopes. Yes, he says against hope 
Abraham in hope believe. So there's one hope against and another hope for. So Abraham finds himself in, in, in the middle of two hopes and trying to figure out which one of the hopes I should go the one against or the one for. Come on church of God. Now let me break it down. Let me break it down. Let me break it down. Say break it down please. Say break it down. All right. The, 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 the hope against amen is the hope of the world. W-O-R-L-D. The hope of the world. Amen. And the hope for is the hope of the word. So Abraham is at the center of the hope of the world and the hope of the word. Can I break it further down? Amen. The hope of the world is called fact. Amen. F-A-C-T. Fact. And the hope of the word is called fate. So Abraham now was at the intersection of fate and fact. And he's trying to figure out which way to go. Amen. Because the fact says one thing, but fate is telling him another thing. That's conflict. And I'm trying to figure out now which way to go. Because the fact of the matter is, Abraham was old. Amen. Church. And that was the fact come on church of God the fact was uh, that Abraham at his age amen all his sailors should have left the ship amen redundant amen and didn't go back sailing and that was the fact come on church but faith says Abraham you shall become the father of many nations the fact was that Sarah amen had a block fallopian tube and for some unknown reason she could not give birth and that was the fact but faith says Sarah thy wife shall give birth come on somebody that is a conflict because I don't know which way to go the fact was that Sarah at her age all the eggs in her body would have died and her clock would have struck midnight and didn't go further and that was the fact what fate says next time this year come on church I don't know who is standing between the fact and fate and it seems like all the fact is weighted on one side it seems like all the fact is on this side and nothing is on the side of fate but touch your neighbor say neighbor that's a good sign that's a good sign that's a good sign because like a balance scale whatever is weighted down on one side the other side is lifted up come on church come on church and that's what God will do he will weight you down with all the fact so that your fate can arise come on church ah, Lord. that's why the writer of Hebrews says that we ought to lay aside every weight it did not say destroy it it did not say throw it away it said to lay it aside which side the left side which side lay all the facts to the left side because when everything is weighted down on my left my right is tipping up every time the devil tells you that you can't make it tell that devil to the left to the left every time every time every time you come up against a roadblock let that devil know to the left everything to the left can I help somebody you better help me boys feel like 
my help is coming. Pull on your neighbor and say, neighbor, 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 I'm going up. I can't quit. I've come too far to give up now. Oh, Lord, I can't turn back because God has been good to me. Somebody lift your hands and shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. I can't give up now. I come too far to turn back now. If the devil knew, he would have stopped me before I started. But the very fact that I'm here now, the very fact that he blesses me, I can't turn back, Bishop. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Worship him. Worship him. Your expectation will not die because you know the God that you serve. Toto Shaku Robo Shaba Yiro Robo. I can't finish this sermon, so I'm gonna end right here. Shakoto Robo Shata. But I want you to join hands with somebody beside you. Amen. The Bible says that one shall chase a thousand, but two shall put ten thousand to flight. I know some of you came this morning with some struggles and you came doubting the promises of God and you've been wondering how is it that God is blessing everybody else and I can't see my blessing yet don't worry it's not your time yet it's not your season yet God is still developing you I just want you to hold a neighbor hand and I want you both to pull out together because I speak in this anointing realm that your lives will never be the same I speak into the realm of whatsoever is setting you back that this day you will never be the same again you've been ostracized you've been alienated you've been castigated but I'm here to release a word in your spirit I'm here to tell you that you're coming out I'm here to tell you to hang on in there I'm here to tell you don't quit I wish I had some radical saint who will cry out for their breakthrough who will wail for their deliverance who will get agonizingly crazy for the breakthrough Lord I know that you are in control Lord I know you will break through in my life hey the devil have been plaguing your mind the devil have been showing you a past the devil have been rubbing your mistakes in your face and you've been doubting the word of God you're wondering if I am even worthy amen and the facts seem to be stockpiled against your fate am I speaking to anybody run come to this altar 
come, 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 come. Wherever you are, oh Lord, under this unction, under this anointing, get down. In the name of Jesus, your life must not be the same again. There has to be a turnaround. Quit sitting around and wait, aiming for something to happen. The Bible says that God has already equipped you with the Holy Ghost. Exercise the power and the authority that is inside of you. The same Holy Ghost that is in Bishop is the same Holy Ghost that is inside of you. The Bible says that greater works than what he did, we shall do. He gave the keys not just to Peter, but he gave the keys to every one of us. And the keys give us the authority to access and to deny access your blessing and deny your curse I said access access your blessing deny your curse 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 by fire by power loose go to 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 somebody 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 access the power access the anointing access the breakthrough access the miracle access the deliverance access it access it in the name of Jesus release the supernatural release the fire release the power 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 break through break through some of you some of you here quit waiting on me to lay hands on you quit waiting for me to speak into your lives access what is yours get this for it In the name of Jesus, Chatokoto Rabasha, I break, I cancel every assignment, every plot that the enemy has against you. I come against a spirit of rejection. I break it from off her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the power of the Holy Ghost shift shift her life never be the same again walk on not a bow shot satata toko robo shot loose loose God release release the fire burn consume change shift work the miracle Lord Masata Yes, 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 Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. See, this is what the power does. This is what the power of the Holy Ghost does. 
We don't have to lay hands on you. But the power is already in you. Access what is yours. Pull it out of the heavenlies. And pull it into reality. in the name of Jesus I need a sister right here yeah help me pray with her in the name of Jesus I cancel every disappointment I cancel every hurt, every pain, every agony in the name of Jesus. You are not insignificant. You are a woman of substance. Every lying tongue, every tongue of rejection, I rebuke it from off your life. I release you. Your past will not define who you are I break the spirit amen I break the spirit I break the spirit of rejection I break the spirit of discouragement I break the spirit of hurt and broken heartedness from off your life in the name of Jesus I release you out of the dark hold of the enemy right now loose your Holy Ghost loose your father loose her in the name of Jesus you're not a failure so what you made mistakes and you blundered we're not rejoicing in the mistake and we're not rejoicing in the blunder but you can learn from it not to make it again experience teach it wisdom Sako Shaba Makuto Rebesha Loose you out of it. Loose you out of it. And I pull you out of darkness into light. Are you a Christian? Masimokosha. You're a Christian. Are you sure? Are you 100% there? Because I see struggles. I see fight. Every time you say, this is it, this is it, this is it, man, do it again, it done yourself. You keep going back. You love God, but the devil has you wrapped up, want to tie you up, want to pull you back. Amen. And you waiting for something supernatural to happen, but God has been speaking to you. He's been speaking to your heart. You know exactly what to do my god there is a power in this place is there any unsaved among us I want all the unsaved you're not a Christian come come to the center you're not a Christian and you're in the house where you're at the altar on the come to the center I want to pray I want oh Lord oh Lord come Come. You cannot be in a presence this awesome and you don't get to meet this man called Jesus. Bishop says he's the best friend you will ever have. Are you a Christian, young? You're a Christian? Come, 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 come. Shakata. Yeah. Every Christian, rather, every Christian, just just clear the middle for me. Clear the middle. Don't, 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 don't be embarrassed because, see, see, traditionally, traditional church has treated the altar as a place of shame. No. It's a place of restoration. It's a place where we come to meet God where life 
is being burnt. Now, come. Yeah. Come. 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 Ah, I'm, I'm going to pray with you and then I'm going to hand over the mic. I'm going to hand over the mic. Because I, I, I sense the man of God burning. I sense something boiling in his spirit. Now, now, now watch this. As I was praying for them, the Holy Spirit told me that there are some among us who are saved and you ain't right. You know you ain't right. I'm, I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm embarrassing you. Come out. Come out. You know you ain't gotten together. You know you're still shocking up. You know you're still buying the lotto. You know you're still sexting. Come on. What? Now the church gets silent. Come, 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 come. See, this may be your last time. Come. Watch this. The issue is not that you have an issue, you know. The issue is you denying that you do. Just be real, be open, be frank, be honest. Come. I want to release a word over your lives. Oh, please, unsaved. And pray God for the supernatural. Your life should not be the same after this. Break after break, heartbreak after heartbreak. Setback after setbacks. Abuse and rejection. And the worst kind of rejection is self-rejection. When people reject you, but when you reject yourself. Because it brings you into a place of deep, dark depression. But we break it in Jesus' name. You're the athlete. Man, if God did that for you, the next step is to serve him. What you wait? What more miracle you want? The next step. Ikama shata. Yarobo sha. See, I want to share some stuff, but when life feeds certain things, I can't say about my life tell you where this boy is coming from and where I am today. My past did not define who I am today. God God said to the woman that was caught in the act of adultery I'll give an example he says to her, go and sin no more. Less. A worse sin come upon you. Why is it that some of us, we need the deliverance, but not the deliverer? And don't you know that the deliverance doesn't come without. So it is oxymoronic to just only want deliverance and not the deliverer. But guess what? You're walking on something that will get worse. A scripture. Bible. Because you have stepped from under the covering of the deliverer. Hello. Hello. If 
God work a miracle in my life. And I don't see why. I can't serve him. I want you to stretch your hands towards these at the altar. Stretch your hands towards them right across the house. Amen. Are you Christian? Yeah. Can I pray with you? I'm going to pray with him, but I just let you pray. Lift your hands. Lift both your hands. Lift both your hands. Lift both your hands. Just got baptized. In the name of Jesus. I was about to pray and I felt your burden. Ama shakata. I release you from the pain. I release you from the hurts. Shatu korabasha. Masata. In the name of Jesus. Mm, you're trying. You're trying hard. But it's not easy. My God, you have failed several times. Shakata. Masata. Ah, and as I'm praying, I hear her in the spirit crying out that, Lord, I don't want to be embarrassed in church. I don't want to be exposed because of the struggles you have. But, girl, I release you. I release you. Every, every hold of the enemy, we break it under the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost. Loose her. Loose her with fire. Loose her Holy Ghost. Change and shift her life. We bind every diabolic, every demonic assignment, every setback, every hold of the enemy. Loose her right now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Loose her. Loose her. Sometimes we're praying and asking God to come and do something. And God is saying, what are you doing about the thing? God wants you to present the thing to him. Quit waiting for God to come down and circle the thing. God wants you to bring the thing to him so he can circle it. We're sitting down waiting for manna to fall in our lap. God to get up and go out and get manna. Come on, somebody. We're there asking God to touch us when God wants us to touch him. Why do you think the woman with the issue did? The woman with the issue touched him. And when she touched him, virtue left him, power left him. So we're there praying for God to touch us. God said, now it's at work. I want you to touch me so virtue can leave me. The secret is in your prayers. The secret is in your prayer. The secret is putting the things before God. But you know why some of us can't put the thing before God? Because deep in our heart, we don't want to let it go. We're still holding on to the thing. But everything we're done in darkness will come to light. Something will miss Bishop, but nothing will miss God. Come on, somebody here. Come on, church. My God. And I sense that God is doing a, doing a shift in this ministry. That anybody that walks near and thinks say, them can live any or any way God going to expose you. Pants going to drop and skirt going to lift. Hello? I'm not speaking any idle word. All right. You hear, Bishop? From ball out. Come on, man. Sad thing about it. Come and we. When word I preach, and we feast say the word that connects somebody over there. So, yes, pastor, preach, pastor, hypocrite, yo. Everything are for them, but nothing for you. So we save and sanctified, and we so Lord for God, and check with phone. With body parts all over the place. Hello. Mm-hmm. 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 Give me a prayer check. 
But we've got to present your faith before God. So God, I need you too. I need help. We all need to cry out for help. We don't need help. Don't so stay out at sea, John. And don't cry out for help. Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, for every unsaved that is at this altar. We pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. God, your word says that you, did, you wish not the death of a sinner, but that they may come to repentance, that they may turn, that they may give their life to you. Holy Spirit, we pray that even now as they are presenting themselves at this altar, that you speak, that you minister. Lord God, we have done the word, we have done the preaching, we have done the calling. It is now to the Holy Spirit uh, uh -huh, to do the conviction. I pray that right now every stumbling block in their lives uh, be removed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every addiction uh, Lord God, every failure uh, Lord God that has set them back uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you will release them from every mental prison uh, and transform their lives uh, that they will never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Uh, I rebuke the spirit of failure I rebuke the spirit of addiction I rebuke it from off their lives in Jesus name break the hold and we summon the blood of Jesus upon their lives we call forth that the anointing will break the yoke in Jesus name We believe it. Yes, yes. Cry out, Lord. Cry out. Cry out, man. Hey, Yamoshata. We pray, Lord God, for every struggling believers, Lord God. That, Lord God, you will keep them in the name of Jesus. Father, in fact, we pray, Lord God, that this spirit, because it's a spirit, that it be broken from off their lives. And they will never give in to the enemy's plan. In the name of Jesus. Because the enemy wants to, to distort their purpose. And get them to go off route. But speak to them one more time again. Let them know Lord God. That, uh, that, that as much as you are merciful God. You are a dreadful God. Yes. And oh. none of us here want to fall into the hands. Of a hungry God. So God, we ask some mercies. Yes. Mercies and not judgment. My God. In the name of Jesus. Hababa Shata. Come on, everybody, lift your hands everywhere. Father, loose them, loose them, loose. Yes. Loose. 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 Man of God, I sense there's something in your spirit burning, so I'm going to release you. Father, oh. in the name of Jesus, touch. Set them free. Yeah. Loose them and deliver them. Put your hands together for God. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, son. Nobody move, nobody move, nobody move. For those who come for salvation, I want to signify it by the raising of your hand. If you have given your life to God today, you raise your hand before God, high above your head. You have surrendered your life to God. God has spoken here today. He knows everything that you're going through. Some of you are standing right here. The only thing for you to do is to cut your wrist. To commit suicide. But God has sent a word to deliver you today. How many of you have decided to walk with God? You walk away from this altar without dedicating your life. You're saying, I don't need God. He said, if you're ashamed to hold me before men, I'll be ashamed to hold me before my Father in heaven. If you don't want God, God don't want you. And that's not what I'm seeing here. You came to church, you came to the altar because you want to change in your life. Stop listening to the lies of the devil who come to steal, to kill, and to destroy you. Listen to Jesus Christ who come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. The choice is yours for the last time. How many of you decided today, preacher, heard the word of God, have been touched by the Holy Spirit, I'm convicted and today I've surrendered my life to God. Let me see by the raising of your hand. 
I see that hand. Do you know? Let me say something here. Do you know what happens in heaven when one sinner comes to know Jesus? I believe the Father get up off his throne and begin to rejoice over you. Mankind who have been a blasphemer who deserve nothing but death. Jesus standing in celebration. Heaven start to celebrate over one sinner. That's how important you are. You are so important to God and God loves you so much. You have to leave his throne in glory. Came to this earth, suffer, bled and die, rose from the dead so you can have eternal life. But you have to have, you get it by accepting Christ. Now, we can't force you because the Bible said the day will come when people will not endure sound doctrine. Amen. The choice is yours. Young, why you, why you here? Why do you come to this country? You come for a better life. You cannot make it without God. For there's a devil that want to take you out. The only place you are safe is in the arms of God. Under the blood of Jesus. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. So you walk in today and this might be your last message. Hello. One the brother here. His sister went to church, not as Christian. When the preacher finished preaching, she said, he said, God wants you. The woman said, next time, she said, have a baptism and I'm ready next time. All she was thinking about was to get some money from the boyfriend for the, ch the child that she had for him. And the boy sent back a message. Tell her to come for the money herself. And when she went, he was there sharpening his machete. And he cut out her belly and kill her there. If she did give her life to God, God could give her more than she need to take care of herself and her child. But she put a man before God. The man cut out her belly. She's in hell today. You hear what I'm saying? Another young lady went to church and the preacher said, God calling for you. Time for you to give your life to God. I mean, I read here some. But she leave and went home. Sat on her bed. I don't feel good. And she just flipped backward and that's it. She's dead. She's in hell. May I tell you today that running away from God. That you will face him one day. You will. Amen. And you don't want to face him at the white throne judgment. Remember this. Hell is real. Heaven is real. And hell is not prepared for you. And one billion years from now, if you go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ, in hell, one billion years from now, it's like you just get there. Weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Lastly, can I tell you something. Real life begins after death. And every one of you are facing eternity. Do not face eternity without God. Because anything the devil offer you, the boy is a liar. The boy is condemned to hell. You are not condemned. Stop listening to the lies of the devil. Tell me one good thing the devil ever done for you. Tell me. Nothing. Why are you want to hold on to and listen to a man who come to steal, to kill, and to destroy you? God don't create no failure. You're born for greatness, but Satan will hold you like a slave. Amen. Last time to have somebody to pray for very sick. How many you've decided from today? What a service. I never heard you before. But you better preach. In this end time. You didn't come around here by mistake. Amen. Because deep down in your soul as you preach, you're looking for men of God. You're looking for more, somebody to motivate. You see so much failure and so much lying going on in the pulpit. Amen. And you just wonder. You wonder. Amen. So now God have a plan. Do you want him to come back tonight? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
No, no. We're not going to have... Shh, we're not going to have him back tonight because about 10 people want him to come back. If you want him to come back tonight, stand up everybody. We want him to come back tonight. That tells me that they enjoy you. And you know what I see you too? I saw you under the tent out there, you know. I saw you under the tent out there. Not this year because I never know nothing about you. Amen, somebody. But I like what I'm hearing. I know somebody. Young men must kick, give the devil drop kick. And I'm only here to watch them, watch them back and push them. Hello. So now, for those of you who have not decided to walk with God, you may return to your seat. But do you hear me? A, lot, a lady came here. Last story I'm going to share with you guys. She said, I just came from Jamaica to better my life. And I, did, I have some spots and I went to get a check out. I have cancer in my cervix. I asked God to remove the cancer and God cure her. And would you believe me? I don't see her for five months. I said, go serve God. And about five months I didn't see her. Then she showed up one day and said, preacher, you're not troubled. I said, what's wrong? He said, I have a relationship with one man and I have AIDS. I may not feel good. I'm going to go to doctor and the man give me AIDS. Hello, I haven't seen her since. Don't play with the devil. He's a killer. Young man, greatness lies in you. Only God can bring it out. Run for your life. God bless you. Amen. That young lady, you have decided to serve God. Go with this young man. What about your sweetheart? Go with her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You walk with God. No one will lie on you. No one will abuse you anymore. No one will beat you anymore. Come. Come. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Preacher. Amen. You bless my soul. And it's not over. I wanted you to come back tonight and finish your points. Is that alright? Drink a lot of liquid. We're going to help you. Come on, somebody give him praise. There's, everybody stand. There's not a friend. Like the loving Jesus. Now hear me. There's only one member from this church. I'm going to ask to come up here. Sister Marcella. I want you to come to stand and practice for your husband. But every other member. I want somebody to. Amen. Sister Paula, turn around and touch mama. If you can get to her knees, just touch her knees. Those feet of yours, Satan trying to lock you down. Mama Graham, you keep on rejoicing. You tell that old boy, hey, you're not going to quit. You love what you heard today, not you? You love what you heard today. You fight. Hello. Oh, glory to God. Are you a Christian? spine shattered and able to walk. Now I told you while you sit over there to look upon that wall. You want to stand with me, preacher? Are you tired? You can take it easy. Amen. You look upon that wall. You see canes of people having problem with the knees. Put your hand at their back for me. I want you to get to the place where you run again and you don't have to wear Anybody have to brace you up. I saw a lady literally paralyzed. Three discs removed from her back. And somebody had to harm her up both sides and cane. Put a hand on a cane. And I explained something to her. She said, but me go to church. Sir. I said, lady, if you come out of the tent, God going to heal you. Amen. And she still tells me she go to church. We said, but it's not the way God wants you. Amen to be. 
And do you understand? I began to share another sister over there, testimony with her. How she had a back and Dr. Say will never walk again. He made it damage her left leg and all kind of pain she was in. And one week later, I lay my hands and God completely cured her. Amen. She began to flip with all the staples in her back. One week later, and the woman screamed out and said, Let her go, devil. Let her go. And she give me the key and I say, Give me that key in your gut and run. She been running today. Amen. Ever since. Father, I summon you in the name of Jesus. And in the power of your son's blood. God, there's nothing you can do on behalf of your child. The woman said, Bishop, I was in an accident. It hit me from behind. Every vertebrae in my back move. Out of shape, I'm in pain night and day. But one prayer, God, like a hammer. She said, Bishop, I feel God hitting every bone back into place. There's no more pain. Father, reconstruct. Perform a miracle. Pain. Pain. <laughs> you should die in this accident. You should die. It was a diabolical plot to destroy you. And because you were not killed, the devil wants to paralyze you. But say, mm -hmm, say, say that the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son against you. Say that on the blood of Jesus Christ. God's son against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus Christ. God's son is against you. I break your power. You paralyzing demon. You cursed from hell. I break your power, demon. I break your power, sorcerer. I break your power in the name of Jesus. And I command this woman to be delivered now. Lick every bone, put every bone back into place, remove every pain in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Turn around, the blood of Jesus. Let her go, let her go, no matter who I are. The blood of Jesus. Woman, woman, be made whole. Woman, be loose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, line up the spine. I pray for creative miracle now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus, come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Mama, I want you to have faith. And the preacher preach about faith. Bow. Bend down and touch your knee. Bend down, stoop down and get up. Black Salusar. I bind the spirit of fear and doubt. I bind the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release your faith. And I said, take it. Reach down. You came here for a miracle. You came here for a miracle. Give me my rock there. I said, Ben, give me some oil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of no fear. No fear. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. Lift your hands. Lift your hand, mama. Lift your hand. Fear, fear, fear. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Release your miracle through the spine. Spine damage. But God, I speak life to dead places. I have come against paralysis. I pray for creative miracle. Loose this woman. Loose this woman, Father. We claim a miracle now and count it done. Lift that foot. Lift up your foot. Lift up your foot. Lift up your foot. Lift up your foot. Come on, church. Come on. Come on in the name of Jesus. Touch him today. You can't live like this as a Christian. This is not the plan for, that God has for you. No. That devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Hero Israel. Is there anything too hard for God? Nothing. Father. The same power. The 
God raised that dead woman back to life after six hours. Let it flow to her. The same power that caused the cripple to walk. My God, who was stuck in the wheelchair for the rest of her life, according to the doctor, you give her new ways. You put sinews in her hip. You put sinews in her waist, in her spine. She's running today. Life come back to dead places. Today, God. Loose this woman from the curse and set her free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Walk. Take her by the hand and walk. Go over there. Walk with her over there and come back. Walk. Mama, lift that foot. No, hold on. Lift it. Mr. Fee, lift your foot. Lift it. No fear. Cabra Sotora. Amen. Glory. Come here. Take your foot down and anoint those. Just like you're anointing his legs, both of them, and his back. Come on. No, 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 no. You see, you see, you're only too long. Rough. Away from rough. Come on, both sides. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I speak life. I come against every discomfort in your back, in your pain, in your feet, and in your prostate. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, let miracle power like fire flow to his body. Bring healing, bring healing, bring healing. Every discomfort, every flattering in this heart, I speak to your heart now, to your heart muscle, to your heart valve in Jesus' name. Total wholeness for this body. Give him praise, give him praise. Where's that lady? I didn't tell her to let her sit down. I didn't tell her to make her sit down. Walk, walk. Tell the devil. I will never be like this. This is not the plan that God has for me. Hallelujah. You got to take it. In Jesus name. Come here. In the name of Jesus. Father. Everybody press plant on this way. Going to St. Vincent Hospital. Room 410. Now. Finish what you started. The reports are coming. Most of them negative. But this one. Let it also be negative. Blow the mind of physicians. Jehovah Rapha, God that heals. We can reverse the curses of that devil. You're a liar, Satan. You're a liar. You're a deceiver. The blood of Jesus against you. And I command you to loose your hold off, my brother. In the name of Jesus. Every congestion on the chest, let it go now. Every congestion, go. In the name of Jesus. Father, comfort the family. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. You're diabetic. You're not safe. They called for the preacher to come. For the, those who are not safe to come. It's not fear for God to heal you for you to go back to serve the devil. You're wasting enough years of your life. Amen. You know your sister. For years now, she has been a princess. On her way to glory. Her desire that her family be saved. You have seen enough. You have done enough. You hear what I'm saying? For that devil. And he has done you nothing but evil. God loves you. Today. Do you want him in your heart? Open your mouth and say, dear God in heaven. I'm a sinner. I've rebelled. I've blasphemed. I have sinned against you all my life. Today, I need your help. I'm not well in my body. Neither my soul. I am sick. I'm sin sick. I need your help. Plunge me in your son blood today. Take out this whole heart. Give me a new heart. A heart to serve you. For the rest of my life. I don't want to go to hell. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I want eternal life. I can't save myself. But I ask you to save me today. Wash me in your son's blood again. Save me from my sins. And help me from this day. To say no to the devil. To say no to the devil. No to this world and its system. No to flesh. No to sin. 
and yes to you, God, for the rest of my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me today. Thank God I'm saved. Father, I lay my hands upon him now. Perform a miracle. Give him heart transplant. Jeremiah Ezekiel 36. Oh God, verse 25 to 27. He said he will take out the old heart. And you will give him a new heart. Let it be so now. Back up Satan. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the yoke of sin. Oh God, and I ask you now, Father, to save this man. Stump his heart with your blood from this day forward as you have saved his sister so save him today God it is our prayer in the name of Jesus and let your miracle power like fire, liquid fire flow through his bloodstream purifying his blood in the name of Jesus sugar diabetes chronic sugar diabetes chronic disease. I plead the blood of Jesus against you and ask you God to perform a miracle today. Let his blood sugar be level. Let his blood pressure be level. Be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch his entire mind and body. Bring healing and deliverance even to his prostrate. Shrink it today in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Stand everybody. Amen. Be coming back later can have time to pray your visitor and what you want the Lord to do for you. We just have a baby. Good. Let me go home, step under the shirt. And give some olive oil outside. Come here, minister. Just stop it. Don't let them. Every cover call in your belly got to go. Come out! Rub your hand over the belly. In the name of Jesus, let your miracle power flow. And that which torments her, that which causes her pain, God remove it now. Even God, the emerging Bracosa, stop your demon from hell. I command you to stop. Dry up now. In Jesus' name. Do the work in her heart too. Set her free. Save her God. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about salvation. Woman be loose. And be made whole. In Jesus name. Amen. There's nothing that God can't do. Nothing that he can't do. Have faith. Believe God. You live around here. Let me see you back in church. I don't want you to come visit. I want you to be a part of. Get, dedicate your life to God. And. Oh, you're big, you're big, okay, you're like, you're like, all right, you let the Holy Ghost direct you. Hi, such pain, such hurt, the pastor preaching to you, and talk to you, and touch you. Amen. Dedicate your life to God. No more. No more. Beautiful children, the pain you've gone through. Even now, your back is against the wall. It takes two to get a child, it takes two to raise the child. Amen. You're crying. You're hurting. You're bleeding. Amen. That is what sin will do. God wants you to bring children out of the wedlock where the Father can give you to help to care. Not everybody make mistake in life. But uh, from this day forward, God will turn things around. Let this be your home. Keep coming. Father, break her from every generational curse. God, She's living the life she experienced as a child. She can't tell anybody what she's been through. The rapes, the abuse. Lord God Almighty, even to find a night dinner, the price she has to pay. God, you come for this cause to liberate, to emancipate to set free you devil from hell that come to torment and frustrate God's creation I plead the blood
Lord of Jesus against you tonight. Break your power, Satan. Father, give this young woman a new life from this day forward. Provide for her and her children a place to stay, a good place. In the name, send help, God. And I pray even for the children's sake that you will experience no more luck in her life. Save her, change her. In the name of Jesus, we claim miracles. And I release the favor of God upon your life. In Jesus name. Total deliverance God. Take her from the pain. Reverse her. The curse. Generational curses. And God remove every wound. Every scar. Every pain. Set this young woman free. In Jesus name. Amen. This is your family. We will not reject. Where you from? You live in Bridgeport. This is your family. You are the outcast. You are the reject. You hear what I'm saying? You're not loved because you're like the black sheep. But God loves you. You've been ministered today through the word of God. Have faith in your God and trust him. All right? There's Pancho here every other Saturday. We make sure you come and get your boxes of groceries. Amen. And even today, if you need some, they will get it to you. Okay? But you bring them to church. Are you here? Are you here? You cannot serve two master. You got to make up your mind. You're seeing of hell. You go to enough hell. God wants to set you free. All right? Bless you. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Father. Come, Sister Passa, you come from far. Quickly, let me dismiss. Quickly. You come from far. Father, thank you for your child. As she prayed for others, God, let nothing affect her. Let no spirit ever, oh God, or any evil affect her. But build her up, God, build a fence around her. The family saved the Passad family. Every curse from hell, every witchcraft spirit, every demonic oppression we break today. And I pray that God will empower your child, give her insight, insight and foresight, that she'll be able to mash down the devil in every way, come against her and her family and take back what the enemy has stolen. In the name of Jesus, take her back home safely. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name. You won't be here for the banquet. You bring some of that. God bless you, for it. Father, return this back to your child. A thousand fold. She won't be here, God. But she give her money for the banquet. Because your servant have touched her life. Now go with her. And for this seed, let there be no lack in her life. For the rest of her life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory to God. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Everybody stand. Amen. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. The preachers prayed. Amen. God, give you strength. Always eat right. Take your vitamins. Amen. Build up yourself. Amen. Where's your sister? Amen. Something is wrong. Come here. Something is wrong. You, Pamela, Sister Tina, something is wrong. Something is wrong. There's a assignment from hell. Amen. Father, come closer. Loosh. Loosh. God has delivered you. And I told you, when God began to swing door wide open, you haven't seen anything yet. Hell hates you. Amen. And there's a spirit that's been assigned to sap out every energy out of your body. Amen. And I guarantee if you go on a scale now, you're going to find yourself lose weight. 
Amen. Losing weight. Something is going on in this body. When it came up here earlier, I know for offering the brought here. Amen. I said something is going on in this body. Unknown to you. Father. Root up. Pull up. How dare you devil try to touch my daughter. How dare you try to flick this body. Send your curse back to hell. Daughter be loose. Headaches. Headaches go in the name of Jesus. Like fire. Let your miracle power flow to her body. Let every curse be reversed now. And I declare wholeness. From the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. Oh God. Somebody touch her belly for me please. In the name of Jesus. Fix God. I call for order. I call for order in your body. Now. In Jesus' name, give him praise. Father, we thank you for your son. We thank you for this, the, your word. We thank you for the saints. We thank you, God, for answering prayer. There are those we have not prayed for. The left foot, God, the knee. So many with knee problem. God, and ankle problem. God, so many with different condition in their body. But whatever it is, release your miracle power tonight reveal and we will pray God in the name of Jesus deliver your people you told me this morning to pray that God you will secure your children in their jobs and for those who have no job whether legal or illegal I ask you God to be their Jehovah Jireh your promise provide good job for them I don't care how you do it they can't gamble. They can't sell their bodies, God. They can't sell drugs. They look to you, God, who promised to take care of them. Let it be so now. And for those in their job, there are wicked people trying to run them out. Move the Jebusites. Move the Canaanites. Move them out. Move them out. And I don't care how you do it. Bless your people. Let every man, every devil, every demon be a liar, but let God be true. Come with your people now. Those who are doing driving for living, protect them, God. Let no harm, no danger, no accident come to any of them. We thank you, Father. Cover my children. Cover them. Everyone in this house. Let no witch from hell and no voodoo worker and no devil and no demon frustrate or torment any one of them. I release divine favor. I release divine protection. I release a financial anointing. No crumbs. Nothing under $700. Must be more God. Cover the young believers now and meet with us this evening, Father. We thank you for those we have prayed for. We believe for their miracle. We count it done. In Jesus' name. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest with me and abide with us all. But until we meet again this evening, let everyone say amen. I want